Continued fallout this week into the firing of Michael Gableman, the former state Supreme Court justice hired by Assembly Speaker Robin Voss to investigate the 2020 election. This past week, a Dane County judge lifted a contempt order against Gableman, but ordered the Office of Special Counsel to pay $24,000 for the days he was found in contempt. Judge Frank Remington also offering a blistering rebuke of Gableman's work, which found no evidence of widespread voter fraud. The bill, the latest expense to Wisconsin taxpayers. Our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, reporting the total now exceeding more than a million dollars. Speaker Voss, who right here on Upfront last weekend, detailed Gableman's firing, suggesting in recent days Gableman could now also lose his law license. And now Democrats on the Joint Audit Committee want a full audit of Gableman's Office of Special Counsel. State Senator Melissa Agard is a member of that committee. She joins us now from Madison. Senator, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, last week, right here, Speaker Voss told us there was no need for an audit. Why in your mind is there? Well, my colleagues and I on the Joint Legislative Audit Committee for over a year have been asking for an audit of how it is that these funds are being spent, what it is that actually is happening. Um, and here we are, uh, 14 months, I believe, later, over a million dollars of our tax dollars, and we're getting the same results that we knew we were going to be getting. However, our state has been not only morally corrupted by this investigation, but the, the dollars that have been spent um, could be going to real services that could be helping the people of our state. The Speaker Voss said his justification to not support this is that every bill has been paid through the chief clerk's office and people can go and simply look at that. What, what would you hope to find if an audit were to happen? Well. Even in my office, we did ask for copies of all of the bills um, that have been racked up through this sham investigation. And it took quite a bit of time for us to be able to have access. We very much believe, you know, there are some fundamental things that we can be doing with our government, for example, providing portals that people can just access how it is that our dollars are spent. But more than that, um, we need to provide some guardrails here in Wisconsin. The speaker has a blank checkbook and he chose to spend over a million dollars into um, the sham audit with Gableman who didn't know what he was doing. It was cl clear that he was inept and that this, this money was not being spent in the best interest of the state of Wisconsin. But how is it that we as a state spend these dollars? Um, looking backwards, looking forwards. We need to make sure that things like this don't ever happen again. Um, I have heard from people all across Wisconsin, not just folks in my district, who are very concerned. People who affiliate as Democrats and as Republicans who are very concerned about how these dollars are spent. Um, so maybe we have the documentation that is available to us with some digging, but also having some sort of accountability to make sure that we aren't um, throwing dollars into a, a burning fire pit in the future is really important to us. You've renewed this call in recent days again for this audit. Curious what you have heard from uh, other lawmakers, other members on the audit committee, specifically Republicans. Um, crickets. We've heard crickets from uh, my Republican colleagues. It is clear um, that people in Wisconsin, as well as uh, those of us that are uh, Democrats on the audit committee are raising up our voices, and that's because what it is that we've heard from people all across Wisconsin. We believe um, that the people should have this accountability available to them, and people are also saying, don't ever let this happen again. Um, that is the mission of the Audit Bureau, and we are very hopeful that we can at least have a discussion within the Audit Committee to look at this um, and hopefully dig in uh, to create these guardrails in the future. Uh, I was going to say, looking to the future, and if an audit were to happen, uh, a million plus has been spent, already spent, more could be spent on the ongoing litigation. In your mind, what would be the result of an audit? Would it be legislation to firm up guardrails, as you put it in your words? Um, certainly that's one of the things that uh, could come out of an audit. We have um, a world-renowned audit bureau, nonpartisan here in the state of Wisconsin. This is their job. They help us shore up our government, make sure all access, all aspects of our government are working well. And it is clear that um, having this blank checkbook um, in the speaker's office is not working well for the people of Wisconsin. So we should be looking at that and allowing these professionals to do their job and come up with a report that can be considered by the legislature as how it is that we move forward for our state. Senator, as you know, this investigation has seen many twists and turns. It's received national attention. What do you make of Speaker Voss now ultimately firing Mike Gableman, telling him, telling the former president, President Trump, that there is no way to decertify the results in Wisconsin? 
Um, well, you know, Speaker Voss is like a, uh, a coin. On one side, he was um, fanning the fire and um, investing state dollars and resources into the big lie. And then when Speaker Voss started feeling the heat from um, the folks on, on that, uh, uh, that perpetuate the big lie, he changed his mind. And it is clear in Wisconsin, we've had the most studied election in our state's history with this 2020 election that they are fair, free and secure. And it is really important that we ensure the people of Wisconsin that they know this, um, that they are protected at the at the polling booth and um, putting these million dollars into Gableman's pocket and fanning these flames is bad for our state. And it's really unfortunate that it came at the expense of Speaker Voss rather than the fact that he should just do the right thing at the very beginning. In your mind, did anything good come from this investigation and this review? Nothing came good from this investigation and this review. In fact, it has been very damaging to our democracy in Wisconsin, um, and we're gonna be putting the pieces together for quite some time. State Senator Melissa Agard coming to us from Madison. Senator, thank you for your time and perspective. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, the Marquette poll, the new numbers, and what it all means. Charles Franklin standing by with the new analysis.